Today we'll be learning about the tangent ratio and finding sides. Tangent ratio. The tangent ratio relates an acute angle of a right angled triangle to the two shorter sides of the triangle. Calculating sides. To calculate a missing side in a right angled triangle using the tangent ratio, we use this formula here. Tan of an angle theta equals to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side of the triangle. On the right, we have a right angled triangle. Theta is the green symbol and it represents the given angle in a triangle. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. We refer to the shorter sides of a right angled triangle in relation to where the angle theta is. The side opposite theta is called the opposite side. The shorter side touching theta is called the adjacent side. Here is our first example. Find the value of tan theta. In example A, we have a purple triangle with lengths 3, 4, and 5. Let's first start by naming the sides. 5 will be the hypotenuse because it is the opposite side of the right angle. The number 3 is the opposite side. It is opposite theta. That leaves 4 to be the adjacent side, the side that is next to theta. To start, let's write the tan ratio. Tan theta is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. Therefore, we have tan theta is equal to the opposite side, which is 3, divided by the adjacent side, which is 4. In example B, we have a pink triangle with side lengths x, y, and z. Let's first start by naming the sides. The side opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse. So we have z to be the hypotenuse. The side that is opposite theta is called the opposite side. Y is the opposite side. X is therefore the adjacent side, the side that is next to theta. The tan ratio again is opposite divided by adjacent. Therefore tan theta is equal to Y divided by X. Here is our next example. Find the length of the unknown side. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. In example A, we have a green triangle with a given angle of 40 degrees. The given sides are 30, X and 70. Let's first name the sides. We have 70 as the hypotenuse. X is the opposite side. 30 is our adjacent side. Let's write our tan ratio, which will be tan of the given angle, which is 40 degrees is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. The opposite side is x and the adjacent side is 30. So we have tan 40 degrees is equal to x divided by 30. To get x by itself, we need to use a little bit of algebra. So we'll need to get rid of the denominator by multiplying both sides by 30. We'll then have x is equal to 30 multiplied by tan 40 degrees. Put this into your calculator, make sure you have found your tan button, and we'll get x is equal to 25.1729, which is approximately 25.2 correct to one decimal place. In example B, we have an orange triangle with the given angle of 60 degrees and the given sides to be y, 15, and h. Let's first name our sides. 15 is the hypotenuse because it is opposite the right angle. We have 8 is the opposite side and we have y as the adjacent side. So we have tan 60 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. We'll then have tan 60 degrees is equal to the, our opposite side which is 8 and our adjacent side which is y. y is in the denominator and we need to move it to the numerator. So we need to multiply both sides by y. So multiply both sides there, and we'll have y multiplied by tan 60 is equal to h. We need to make y as the subject of this equation, so we'll divide both sides by tan 60 degrees. We need a little bit more space. We are left with y is equal to 8 divided by tan 60 degrees. 
put this into your calculator and you will get 4.6188, which is approximately 4.6. Here is our last example. The angle of elevation of the top of a flagpole from a person on the ground is 30 degrees. If the flagpole is 10 meters, how far is the person from the base of the flagpole? We have a person on ground level. They are looking up at a flagpole. The angle of elevation is 30 degrees. The angle of elevation is the angle from the horizontal upwards to an object. The flagpole is 10 metres. We need to find the distance between the person and the base of the flagpole. 10 is our opposite side and X is our adjacent side. We'll start by writing our tan ratio, which is tan 30 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. Let's substitute our opposite side and our adjacent side, which will be 10 divided by x. x is in the denominator. To move it to the numerator, we need to multiply both sides by x. We will then have x multiplied by tan 30 degrees is equal to 10. To make x a subject, we need to divide tan 30 degrees away. Make sure we do it to both sides. We'll then have x is equal to 10, tan 30 degrees. In the calculator, this will be 17.32. Therefore, x is approximately 17.3 metres.